Hey guys, this is Cody with The Connected Camper. Today we have another installment of our Generator Runtime series. Now we have the Furman WH3200IE Dual Fuel Inverter Generator. Now this machine is another eBay certified refurbished machine. This thing came with an hour meter on it with zero hours on the clock. This is brand new. I'm guessing someone probably bought it from Costco, decided they didn't want it and returned it. And then eBay sold it or Furman on eBay sold it to me at a heck of a nice discount. So I'm going to get you set up a little bit better, show you some of the uh, data points that we're going to be looking at today, and then we'll get off to the races. Now for our test today, we have the Furman WH3200 IE that I just mentioned. Our testing conditions will be one half gallon of fuel in the fuel tank, and we'll see how long it runs at 50% of its rated load. So a little bit about this generator, it is a Furman WH3200 IE. That means it has a engine size of 171 cc's with a rated output on gasoline of 2900 watts. Now half of that is 1450 watts, and so that's going to be our testing load today. The gasoline fuel tank size is 1.8 gallons, however again for today's test we're just going to have one half gallon in there, and the fuel that we're using is 87 octane. Now for our test today we're testing to see how long it runs at 50% load with one half gallon of fuel, and so we're going to use the fuel tank size up here to extrapolate our run time to get the estimated run time if this is running at half load. Now Furman advertises 9 hours at 50% load. And then what we're also going to do so that we can compare generators of different sizes is we're going to measure the kilowatt hours that are output with that one half gallon of fuel. And then we're going to use that to determine the cost per kilowatt hour. We can determine that by the price of today's test is $1.65. And for today's test, here are the tools that we'll be using. The very first tool is this little 20 watt LED work light. This is going to be a good indicator of when we lose power. Next is just a kitchen timer that counts up in hours, minutes, and seconds. Next is a temperature gauge. Generators perform differently at different temperatures. A kilowatt meter. Various uh, surge protectors, extension cords, power adapters that we may or may not use. Half a gallon of 87 octane, and then Lucas fuel treatment. Now we are off to the races with the Furman WH3200IE. Now this machine is really great. I was actually pleasantly surprised by the electric start on it. Um, when I bought it on eBay, I didn't realize that it had electric start and was very pleasantly surprised like I mentioned. This is also dual fuel. Now the uh, propane runtime test is going to be coming in the near future here. Um, so today we're just testing on gasoline. Um, this inverter generator has a 30 amp travel trailer plug on the front of it. It is super quiet. It runs really nicely. It has an hour meter built into it. It has a very large uh, fuel tank on it as well. Now, the only downside of this machine is that it is about 100 pounds. Now, that's very common with other generators in this size range, like the Wynn, the Predator, um, the kipper that I also did a test on earlier. Um, this machine is really stinking quiet, though. I'm, I've been really impressed with it, and I think it's going to be up there in our fuel uh, range uh, test here. Now, the a little bit of a disclaimer here. The thermometer there on the ground is not very accurate with the sun hitting it directly. Um, it is approximately 80 degrees ambient temperature on this day. Um, 
And this generator has just really impressed me so far with how quiet it is. The, the break-in test went really well, or the break-in um, period went really well with almost no, no metal flakes, no debris or anything in the oil. It didn't even dirty up the oil that much. I felt like I was wasting it when I changed it at the 10-hour mark on this. Now, this machine is actually going to a friend of mine that runs a, a food stand and needs to run steam tables and point of sale systems and things like that at farmer's markets and at uh, outdoor events. And so this is going to be going to him. And, and uh, so this was just part of our break-in test here. But this machine, as you'll see here, it just works really well. Now, my one complaint about it, actually, I, my second complaint about it is number one is the weight. The number two complaint is the battery charger. It does not automatically charge the battery. You have to plug in an additional cable to have it actually charge the battery. You have to plug it into an outlet on the front of the generator and then charge the battery with it that way. A little bit of an oddity if you ask me. I'd rather they just build that charging circuit directly into the generator. So as we just saw, the ferment ran for two hours and two minutes at 50% load with one half gallon of gasoline. Now, if we translate that to the runtime on a full tank of fuel, we'll see that it's supposed to run for 7.3 hours or 7 hours and 20 minutes, which is actually, I would say, probably the closest to the manufacturer's um, estimate that we've seen so far. Now, the manufacturer's estimate is 9 hours at 50% load, but this is close enough that I would say there's even some potentially environmental variables in here. Uh, heat, different uh, gasoline, if you use premium, you might get a little bit better. It's hard to say. Now, what the biggest differentiator here is, is the kilowatt hours provided. In Solar Assistant, it showed us that we had 3 hours, or 3 kilowatt hours, of electricity brought in on one half gallon of gasoline making this our most efficient generator so far and our cost to run it per kilowatt hour is 55 cents per kilowatt hour now if we bring that over here and compare that to our other generators in the testing series you can see that this absolutely blows out of the water all of the other generators all of these other ones are 20 cents more roundabout per kilowatt hour to run on a half a gallon of gasoline or on a uh, on gasoline just in general and so the cost to run this is significantly less it is more efficient and it is closest to its manufacturer estimate for its runtime and just like that we have a new leader in our generator runtime series for efficiency on its power output now this Furman inverter generator dual fuel this was a heck of a deal on eBay, and they are still on sale. However, you might be better off waiting for another holiday to come around for Furman to run their, run their sale series. Now, if you like these videos, if you have ideas for future videos, if you want to see anything specific, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends if they're interested in inverter generators and getting one that's going to be the most efficient for their setup. This is Cody with The Connected Camper. Thanks for watching.